now. They've passed B. It's starting to look like a NASCAR race up here. This car coming at us right now was literally forced into the shoulder by somebody passing recklessly. There is a car holding up this fifth wheel and this giant line of vehicles. You're gonna hear me say something again that you've heard me say many times before. There's some weather moving in. Tomorrow, it's gonna be kind of a wet, rainy, maybe a little snow day, uh, windy. We're trying to figure out how far we wanna push tonight. Okay guys, we're here, Grand Canyon. I was gonna tell you kind of why I uh, don't really like national parks. And this doesn't necessarily completely go for Rebecca. This is more me, but a lot of them we have in common. Number one, they're crowded. They are very, very crowded. Uh, number two, they're rather expensive. They tend to, I don't know, just be more than I'd really like to pay. Three, there's a lot of rules. You know, when it comes to dogs and off-roading and just very very regulated and I will say that these lands are special and need to be protected from like greedy corporate giants that will mine toxic uranium and pollute the watershed for the entire uh, southern United States so yeah it needs to be protected this one is very specific to us it is the fact that our motorhome and uh, trailer and our rig is big <coughs> At the minimum, we're 46 feet long. And that is way too big for national parks. Especially if you're just gonna drive through them because not all the turnouts are that big. So for us and for me, national parks are not my favorite place. Now that being said, last night's situation was a little unique as well because we were trapped and we were coming in late there are forest service roads in places where you can camp for free here, but when it's dark in a two-wheel drive motorhome, you don't want to go venturing down these roads, especially when you can't offload the ATV and go scout things out. So we kind of had to stay in, what's this thing called? Trailer Village? Trailer Village. 45 bucks a night. Uh, full hookups, so we've taken advantage of those. It's starting to snow. I'm not sure if it's really going to accumulate or add to much, but it's not really something I enjoy driving in. And also, I just had a first. There was lightning and thunder right overhead when I was taking the dogs out, and it was snowing at the same time. Don't often see snow, lightning, and thunder all at once. But now, I have no idea what we're going to do. Um, I guess we'll see just what happens with this weather, but we need to check out of here in about an hour and 40 minutes. There's a little uh, break in the weather and we're gonna try to just get off the mountain and uh, get back down into the desert. That campground, it was nice. You know, the full hookups are always refreshing and uh, it was within walking distance to like a store and all kinds of amenities and there was even a shuttle that Rebecca took in this morning to the uh, canyon. Now for not having a tow vehicle, that was nice. I wish that I could say I could have gotten some great footage of the Grand Canyon for you guys. This morning, it was raining slash snowing slash freezing rain. And I, I went anyway and went all the way to the, you know, there's like a rim trail you can take by the visitor center. Unfortunately, when I got there, this was the only picture that I was able to get. Kind of disappointing. I don't mind national parks quite as much as Ben does. I grew up going to them and uh, spent a lot of time in Yosemite. Um, I don't know. I um, agree they're annoying as an RVer because of the uh, size limitations, but most of these places were developed, you know, back when RVs weren't the monstrosities they are now. Um, <clears throat> I do get a little annoyed with the people who are kind of snarky because they've dealt with so many folks, especially if you're nice to them. Um, but they're beautiful places and I'm willing to make the sacrifice of going into a park to see the beauty that they have to offer and that they've preserved. 
so but I understand people's frustrations with them I do I saw an ironic sign today in the visitor center it said something about a hundred years celebrating a hundred years of getting away from it all and just as I read it someone bumped into me because there are so many people in the visitor center this morning and I was like not getting away from it all on a positive note if you ever stay at the mutiny ranch wash your hair because we filled our water tanks from their water yesterday and I showered and washed my hair this morning and I'm having like a stellar hair day it's they have really soft water it's almost like well water but it's not thank you mutiny ranch for your awesome water I wish I could hoard it and save it just to wash my hair well we got pretty lucky we found a plow truck so we're gonna treat him kind of like a fullback in uh, football and we'll be the running back we lucked out and the clouds cleared and we've got a view of observation. At the top of the mountain we saw snow plows. At the bottom we saw grass mowers. Okay, we've made it to the Horseshoe Bend and found hundreds of tourists as well. Sign says it's about three quarters of a mile hike, so that will be good to go stretch our legs. A um, little bit of a bummer, no drones allowed. I guess, you know, that's the way it's going. I sure am glad that we uh, RV during the winter months here in the lower 48, because I just don't have the patience or the tolerance for the mass volume of people that are here. Like in Alaska during tourist season, there's totally tons of places that we can escape to. And I'm sure that's where local knowledge comes in, but wow, there's just people everywhere here. And when you're used to not being around people, this is just so overwhelming. But this is an iconic stop, so we're gonna make it. Okay, this is a serious drop. It's the kind of drop that makes your balls tingle. Jeez. Cracked? I'm not stepping on that. Okay guys, we are stopped for the night. And when we pulled in here, we thought, oh wow, lakefront property. And then it started raining when we were in the store and we now have a babbling brook. And we're stopping for the night at the Walmart in Page, Arizona. So it's been a rough couple of days since we've been back on the road. Um, yeah, I don't even necessarily know why we went into Grand Canyon, but we're done with national parks and we're going to find happy places for his and hers Alaska. So hey, we'll see you tomorrow.